All right, this week's Ion MPI is from a Scotch brand. Lady Ada, what is this week's Ion MPI brought to you by DigiKey? I'm glad you asked. Uh, so this is by 3M Scotch, and it's the Cushion Lock Protective Wrap and Dispenser. So Cushion Lock is the trademark name. Um, and it's really great timing because uh, Mr. Lady Ada and I had been talking about sustainable packaging uh, and then this popped up on digikey.com slash new, which I strongly recommend. Uh, I get really good ideas there, not just for NPI, but for products uh, in addition. And um, this is a two-parter. So there is this metal dispenser, and then there is the reel of die-cut paper that uh, you buy separately. The dispenser you only have to buy one of, and then the die-cut reel of paper you get multiple times. And as you see, when you yank on the paper, it sort of expands into this a hexagonal grid. Um, so you could buy the paper. I think it comes in both like 20 foot and 1,000 foot reels. Uh, DigiKey is just stocks so 1,000 foot reels because it's, you're it's expecting that you're going to do a lot of shipping. Uh, and this image from uh, 3M shows it very nicely. Um, and it's designed for shipping, packaging, and storing. Um, and then this is a close up of the dispenser. You don't have to use a dispenser, but especially if you're using the 1,000 foot uh, reel, it's pretty heavy. So uh, it is recommended. I'll say this. Now that I've unpacked it and used it, you should use a dispenser. <laughs> okay. Uh, wisdom there for you from Mr. Yes. Lady Ada. Okay. So, you know, traditionally what people um, have been using for the last few decades for shipping and packaging, and, you know, there's more e-commerce than ever, is foam peanuts. These are very familiar styrofoam peanuts, or now they're made of a, uh, you know, foam material that's compostable or sometimes water-soluble. Um, or, uh, you know, bubble wrap uh, is really common. This, of course, comes in a big bubble, small bubble, you know, double captive bubble, anti-static, et cetera, multiple uh, variations as shown here in this um, lovely image from Wikimedia. Um, but the problem with the packing peanuts and the um, bubble wrap is they're really big. Like, this is how our, we, we buy from a local uh, bubble wrap um, manufacturer here in New York and so they have a truck that comes around and delivers it so it doesn't have to go more than a couple blocks but still like these are really big to store um, you know even if you get ones that are recyclable uh, there's just a lot of space required to store them and if you are shipping them if you're not if you don't live a couple blocks from a New York City uh, packaging manufacturer um, you have to ship it to you and that's a little bit wasteful and of course the packing peanuts are also um, gigantic even if they're stored in a compressed format there is, um, you know, from companies like Sealed Air and others, and you know, if you buy from online, sometimes you see these sort of pillowy, uh, large fo uh, fill shapes. Um, you know, you buy it flat on a reel again, and then there's this little machine which uses a compressor, either internal or external, and it blows up the uh, pillows for you as you need them. And so the storage and shipping of them is not as difficult, but you need that, um, compressed air machine and there's also bubble wrap ones that you know basically make bubble uh wrap with by uh, injecting air instantaneously just before you need it but again um you need to buy the machine the machine is not cheap um, and it can be pretty loud as well so what i thought was nice about this is it kind of has the storage um and shipping ease of the un uh inflated bubble stuff but has the uh, puff, you know, poofability of um, bubble wrap. So it kind of doesn't require that machine. Um, and of course, it's made out of 100% recycled paper and it's easily recyclable because it's just uh, craft cardboard paper. So I think it kind of has like the three things that I'm, I think is really great in um, a, a sustainability friendly packaging material. Easy to store, easy to ship, doesn't require extra equipment or maintenance. Um, and uh, does the job and is recycled and recyclable. Um, so these are some, you know, in-use images showing uh, what it looks like, you know, if you buy the gigantic roll and you, as you pull it, it expands. And then um, what's neat is on the inside, there's these like, it's, it's hex, but there's these little teeth. And the teeth, um, they're not sharp enough to like cut you or damage any uh, material that you're wrapping in, but it grabs against itself, which means that you can wrap it into this nice ball and you get this like volume fill, um, which is a struggle that with, you know, some sustainable packaging, like, um, you know, uh, I've seen sort of like the crinkled paper 
um, style packaging. It's very heavy um, and it's very dense, and so it's it's recyclable and it's um, void filling, but it adds so much weight that now you're using more fuel to ship. Whereas I think that this is uh, very lightweight, um, like a honeycomb shape, um, but it sticks together and it gives you that uh, fluffiness. Um, so there's just a couple more photos from uh, Scott showing it in action. Um, and if you're like, wow, this seems really familiar, it is um, because uh, DigiKey actually uses a, has used, this, this stuff just came out like a month ago, uh, but historically for the last few decades, they've used um, a similar product called uh, Giammy, which is much thinner, um, but uh, cats really love it. And um, this was not an excuse to put in photos of cat. I think it was. I really just wanted to add some cat photos to this Iron MPI. Um, but this stuff is good, but it's very thin. Um, and you see it doesn't have those teeth that interlock onto each other, which gives it that void fill. And so um, while this stuff is good for delicate, small things, I think that this, um, the cushion lock is from 3M is gonna be better for void fill, big cushioning cap you know, requirements, um, and you won't need nearly as much of it. Um, and this is good timing for us because we've been thinking about sustainability as our sustainability page on adafruit.com slash sustainability. Yeah, uh, and uh, just one thing I want to mention too is when you're shipping thousands of packages a day um, and you're coming up with um, solutions for sustainable packaging, one of the things that's tough is, so we experiment with some of the different packing materials. When you use something and it doesn't work out, you have to overnight a replacement to a customer and there goes like your carbon, you know, like there it is. So you have to find things like we've tried this like mushroom packaging. We're playing around with it, and if it's humid or it rains, it kind of melts a little bit. There, there's a lot of things that that are challenging, but this this is looking pretty good. So this might be one of the things yeah. that uh, we consider. Um, Digikey has a sustainability page as well, and you can see their history and their environmental impact and um, some of their environmental certifications as well. Yeah, so this is a great you know great timing for us and. Um, you know, I, I picked up, uh, we all show this uh, on the front camera in a moment. Um, both these things are stocked and sold. The dispenser and the reels are sto stocked and sold by DigiKey. Um, I will say they're quite heavy. I don't recommend overnight shipping. Yeah. Uh, but ground shipping worked great and I got it in three days um, from, from yeah. DigiKey to the East Coast. And then this is yeah. uh, the demo. And so one of the neat things is you can adjust the tension on oh. this wheel here and it'll make it easier to pull or not, because you you know, you know need some. Yeah, uh, Yeah. as you pull it, it expands. Yeah, and what I like about this, because I used, to, so I was all of the shipping department and Lady Ada was all the kidding yes. department when Ada Fruit was just two people. And I wish I had this back then, because what I like is you could do this and then it's easy to tear off. Oh wow, it just rips it just instantly. It just rips off. And I feel and like just I could ship fast, but I feel like I would have been able to ship faster. Yeah, and, and it like, has the same, again, the volume of bubble wrap. Yeah, Which is it, nice. it doesn't require power, and it doesn't require proprietary uh, like air tech. Yeah, and um, this is uh, recyclable materials. So for the inside Cats of love stuff, it. yeah. So for the inside of stuff, um, I think this is a pretty good choice, and we're going to be experimenting with it. One of the things that we're going to probably need to do too is um, give customers a choice of if they want very sustainable stuff the pricing isn't there yet but they could add like a dollar to the shipping cost if they want to and support um, some types of packaging material and it'll be a very special and specific thing um, that we have on our site but that's one of the ideas but uh, i like this as a yeah. uh, as someone who, who has shipped hundreds of thousands of packages and, and actually it's another thing i you know in the write-up i i highlight it's good for single person businesses um, because again, it doesn't require yeah. a compressor, it doesn't require power, it doesn't require a $4,000 air injector. Um, and you also, if you have a small workspace, like, you know, I started Adafruit out of a dorm room, I didn't have space for bubble, I, I couldn't store one of those bubble wrap rolls, but this is actually yeah. very small and easily storable. Um, but it's also fast and um, affordable and easy to use for um, a warehouse worker. So we're gonna and, try this out in our shipping department. And some folks have um, very specific um, companies that they use and some that they don't. So some folks don't like Uline. This is not from Uline. It's not from Uline. And that is that is one of its uh, selling features. Okay. And that's this week's INMPI. <laughs>